Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Talent Farmer. My name is David, as always, and you join me here in our field of barley. Uh, we are just full not a spray here. We just have to go back to the yard to fill up. We've got one, two, three, four tram lines left, maybe. We are in here spraying a bit of herbicide today. Uh, broadleaf herbicide called Atlantis, with the specific reason that uh, our there's a little bit of a, a broadleaf weed starting to come into here, and you'll see it on place on the headlands there. It's the easiest to, to detect it really, and we just want to get ahead of that before it becomes a little too much. So we've so we've got the sprayer on. Uh, I'm just gonna lower down the boom. We, like I say, we just got back from filling up there. We're gonna get our uh, GPS set up before we do anything else, because that's always a good one to do. So we'll just uh, get our AB line back in because for some reason here it did remove it, which is less than ideal. But we're just going to set that and then we can go back again. You can see in the tram lines ahead of me here, we do have all those weeds uh, that we need to get rid of. We just want to stop them from spreading through the field. There's a few patches here and there. So that's done. So what we'll do is just stick that on there you go we'll just get back to our mark and we can start here very primitive gps but still allows us to be as efficient as we can be uh we don't have any of that shut off yet available to us here in the section control but we're going and so the aim of today is a couple of things really we're going to finish off this field here which should only take a minute or two to do like i say there's only a couple of tram lines left uh, and then we are off uh we picked up another second hand bit of equipment this one was a bit of a bargain for what it is and it's actually going to be used in a couple of fields namely that one over there and the one over there as well uh but we're, it's it's also keeping in line with our approach for our um sustainable farming really and trying to be as efficient with our practices as possible so it should be interesting to see how that goes uh we need some more fertilizer because soon this is going to want a bit of a top up uh it's it's in need of uh, an application of nitrogen anyway so we'll have to do that we haven't got any at the moment so that's gonna be put on hold for a little while uh and then yeah so lots to do really lots to do and we are at that time but we're just gonna try and focus on getting everything uh drilled up right about now because it's just better and more advantageous to do it now everything that's gonna be done now at least can get done uh in the nicer weather and we can worry about the uh all the other little bits and pieces that we have to do around the farm once the crops are in the ground that is always going to be the key bit for us uh, so we shall see uh, but yeah otherwise everything is everything's doing very well i must say uh really pleased with how we've got on recently uh, and we're looking very very good indeed staying nice and dry as well for us which is always the key thing uh we really are able to crack along or oh, i'm able to crack along when the, when the weather stays kind to me so that's always uh really good uh and yeah we're uh very impressed with this crop of barley that we're in here by the way this is looking very very good we're just going to get the weeds under control which we should start to see that take effect in the uh well hopefully in the next few days we should start to see this wilt over in about four or five days usually and um, we'll get around there we're on normal tires at the moment we haven't gone to any row crops we just don't need to at the moment the crops not that bad uh, not too tall either so any damage it may take at the moment any wheeling marks we'll hopefully be able to grow out there as well and we should should be okay uh, we're rocking an 18 meter sprayer uh, this spray we've had for a while again not new to us of course but it's in remarkably good condition it's kept inside it's cleaned down every after every wash uh which is handy and allows us to to keep an eye on everything keep on top of it all as well most crucially perhaps uh, so that's always really good uh, and it, we don't have a huge acreage of, of arable land really uh when you run the tenant farm of around about the 250 acres you know you don't need anything much bigger than this and this does everything we need and it cuts down on the the costs that we would incur from a uh, from a contractor as well so that's always really good around we go i think there's only gonna be one more after this one and then we're all set really i hope you're all doing very well do let us know what you're getting on with how your harvest is going and what you're moving forward to next uh, like I say, we've got a, a few little smaller projects lined up, really, but they just have to wait until we get this all done and dusted, really. Uh, and then we'll, we can certainly uh, move on to plan B. Uh, the equipment I bought is going to save us a little bit of time, for sure. It's going to save us a lot of uh, money in diesel costs. 
uh, and contractor fees as well actually so one's gonna be a bit of a trial to see how it how it works really in terms of if it's gonna be a practice that we'll will maintain um but it's it's more of an experiment i must say than anything else there but it's an experiment that i'm i'm really intrigued to see how it, like the cost of it and the benefits of it so uh we'll we'll see how that all works out there uh, and then it's also going to be very crucial for us for our uh, grassland work as well. So there's a lot of benefits across the board here. Uh, and we'll have to keep an eye on it and see how we progress. Uh, first job of the day, though, is... Uh, get this all wrapped up. We'll take you back to the yard yet and we'll show you... Uh, I'll show you what we've bought, really. All right, everybody. We've been able to get the spray folded up there. We're all finished. We're going to head on back down to the farm now. Uh, now we are supposed to get some nitrogen onto this field soon but we ordered some uh, solid fertilizer weeks ago and it still hasn't arrived we didn't order too much of it because the cost of it was out of this uh just phenomenal and we do have a very small bit of liquid fertilizer left in one of our storage tanks so the aim might be for us to hang on to that uh, and to use that liquid fertilizer that we have because i just can't guarantee when this uh, solid fertilizer is going to arrive so Probably the next few days or so, we're going to look into what it looks like for us to actually get that going uh, and to start working with that. But uh, today, we're going to go back to the yard there. Uh, everything we need is back to the yard already there. I went out in the uh, in the small loader tractor to pick up the new machine. And I think I might actually use it on that one to start with, at least. Uh, the first field... Ooh, easy does it there. The first field shouldn't be a problem. And um, we'll see how it goes. And uh, yeah, hopefully... It should go in nice and easily and if it does then that is fantastic there so uh and we picked up some seed as well we need to get a little bit of seed so we did a run uh, earlier on today got uh, just a couple of pallets which should see us through and uh yeah it'd be nice to nice to get the loader tractor out for something other than yard work really uh and we'll keep the i think what's gonna happen now as well we'll keep the sprayer on here for now because we're gonna like i say will be a little bit of liquid fertilizer going on there i just don't want to put it all out too soon i want i would love a little bit of rain to come in between actually if we could get some but i'm not sure what the forecast is looking like to be honest but we'll see anyway into the yard we go and i'll show you the second bit of equipment that we bought there show you what that's looking like and uh, the intentions behind it and we should be looking all very good indeed uh don't often come through here actually nice just to rumble our way on through to the yard very handy having that extra uh yard turn circle there really really is good and uh, now what we're gonna do for right now in fact i probably wanted i'm gonna back this in i think there you go At some point there, we will have to run the, the wash cycle on this spray. Rinse, all our, uh, rinse the, the tank out so that we can put liquid fertilizer in. But we don't have a much. But there's a little bit over there. Enough for what we need anyway. And we'll just creep our way back. Excellent. Right, so like I say, a couple of pallets, not too much seed there. We don't really need too much at this time anyway. Uh, we have got some cover crop seed there, which is going to be uh, a mixture of everything really. There's a bit of veg, a bit of oil seed, radish in there as well. Some oats as well, as many of the different bits and pieces, all which are going to really aid uh, our compaction, which would be great. And then here we've got a bit of oil seed, rape seed. Uh, we're actually going to put a, 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 another kind of break crop in really into the back of the, uh, into the, back of the sunflower or one of the fields of sunflowers uh, and we'll see how that goes it's a bit of a test uh, looking forward to seeing what with the hopefully the benefit being that it's just going to improve that root structure but we'll see uh, and this is our new machine would you believe it or not there this is a six meter wide this is gutler this is essentially a, uh, a grass tine and a, a grass drill really for want of a better phrase there this is going to go through it's going to work over the, uh, the the surface and then it's going to broadcast in uh, our seed at around about six meter width there so it's gonna be perfect for us again we're really looking into trying to minimize plowing minimize heavy cultivation so we're gonna it's gonna be a bit of a test this is gonna broadcast in the cover crop seed that we're gonna start with and then it's also gonna have a chance to jump on in and do the oil seed rape as well see how it goes with that then we'll roll it straight in after it of course 
Uh, but I'm intrigued. I'm very interested to see how it holds out and how it performs. Uh, the cost to apply and the cost to establish the crop with this is minimal. It takes very minimal horse horsepower to pull it and to power it, hence the reason why it's on the 56. But yeah, I think it's just going to be a great opportunity for us, really. I really, really do. And I'm in very intrigued to see how it all uh, how it pulls out and pans out, really. Uh, so we'll have to see. You can join us on that journey. We will, of course, be using it to stitch in a bit of grass seed into some of these paddocks around here just to refresh those, which would be interesting to, uh, really useful to see how they perform. And uh, yeah, it's going to be very, very interesting indeed. So I'm just going to do a few bits and pieces. Got a, a bit of seed to load up into here. Uh, and then we'll get ourselves away, really. Well, okay then. Tractor is just warming through there again. Uh, I think we're ready to go. We should be. And what might likely happen is we'll walk back over later on and bring this truck over uh, with the extra seed that we might need. Let's just jump on in. Uh, all right. Diesel is... Diesel's about a third of a tank there. It should be good enough for what we need. Uh, all right. Let's, uh, let's get ourselves away. Front load can act as a little bit of traction for us here today. That's fine. Okay, and uh, away we go. Another benefit of using this slightly smaller loader tractor here, of course, is that the weight that we're putting into the field there, the compaction is going to be uh, far less than it would be using the, the bigger, heavier uh, 5470. So the six cylinder division is a little bit of a, well, it's a much bigger tractor to be honest with you there, but. Yeah, it'll, be, it'll do a fine job for us. So, uh, let's go out and about. Let's go see how we get on today, shall we? So, we're going to, I think, uh, we're, well, we're going to go and start with our uh, with our cover crop field, really, today. Uh, that is going to be the large field where we carted muck to the other day there. We're going to try and get some lime in as well uh, that we can try and spread over the course of uh, early spring. So we're going to keep cotton muck out there as and when uh, we need to. A bit of lime out there as well. We'll get all that spread. So we're really going to try and aid this soil quality over the next, uh, what will it be, four or five months, really. Uh, the cover crop is designed to do a few things. It's designed to capture as much sunlight as possible, bring that into the soil. Uh, but it's also designed to break up that any compaction that might be in the soil as well without the need of bringing in any heavy cultivation. So uh, that should be really interesting to see. When it comes to uh, establishing the crop of... Uh, we're probably going to go for spring barley in there. I'd suggest when it comes to establishing that, uh, we will be doing it uh, through as much of a minimum tillage approach as possible there. So it's really going to be quite interesting to see how that works out. Uh, and we will see. This field, like I say, this one's going to go into oilseed rape. Uh, and we'll be obviously leaving the sunflowers here just to continue to, to wilt over time. Let the birds feed off of those. That should be great. And we'll see how it all comes together. With the field that we're going into, we don't need uh, any tram lines in there or any description. So all we're going to be able to do is just drill this in nice and quickly. Uh, I can set this up so it will provide me with uh, a tram line. It is possible to do. It takes a little bit of fiddling, but I'll uh, have a play with that, I think. And we'll see. But yeah, it's going to be it's going to be fun. It's going to be an interesting challenge. Interesting to see how it performs. Oh, we'll get up that hill there. There you go. A little bit sticky there. Ooh. Just a little light on the back end, but never mind. We're through. I think we'll just go down here and start way down at the bottom end. Quite large field this one as well, so it's uh, it will take some working over. Uh, a lot of organic matter on the top as well. We're just going to leave that and hope that we can slowly uh, mulch that in, really. Especially when we come to uh, when we come to drilling in the spring there. You want to see that, that gets worked in a little bit there with the muck, with the lime as well. So we'll, we shall see how that goes. Uh, but let's just get ourselves all set up here anyway. Uh, we're probably going to go down a gear. Start there. Oh, and there it goes. Nice and simple. Before we do anything else, have a bit of a wander around there. It's all looking very good. Excellent. 
you can see so this was bought used you can see that it has been used a lot there's a bit of paint missing in various different places there and it's all it, it's had a it's had a life let's put it that way there but still not a bad deal actually all in uh paid about twelve thousand for this i think stock price if you're looking at it new there is close to about 20 so you know i was happy with the and it's uh you know that's where we have to look for our, our, our options and our opportunities here and i think this should be a great one to come uh, i don't foresee us buying too much else in the future the only other thing we're looking into really uh will apply or require a few grants so we're just waiting to see what they turn up like uh okay so it looks like that's working i just need to change a few things with my settings here all right you can hear the fan is going there i think we should be good let's just knock this down and see how how we get on really I'm uh, just struggling a little bit up the hill there, but there we go. I think that we're looking better. That was out of it. So, we just need to have a bit of a play around with it. We're not quite dialed in properly with this. I think it's to be expected, really. First time out with it and all. So, we're going to have a bit more of a play around, see if we can uh, figure out our next steps with this one. And we'll get it working there. We're just not quite having the seed coming through at the moment. So I don't know what I need to change around there. But we'll have a play anyway. Uh, and we'll see how we get on here. What we will do is bring you along for the ride when we do get to get into something a little bit more interesting there. Such as the, uh, hopefully, soon we'll be drilling the uh, oil seed rape through the hedge there. And we'll show you what this looks like when it's all drilled up and when it's all finished to go. So that should be rather exciting. Until then, though, thank you ever so much for watching. As always, I do hope you have enjoyed. If you have and you've yet to do so. Don't forget to hit that uh, thumbs up button and subscribe to Simulation for the Nation for more if you've yet to do so. I have been David, though. This has been your update from the Tenant Farmer. Until next time, we'll see you in the next one. So do stay safe, enjoy what you're doing as always, and we'll catch you later.